What is going on gamers? Avatrix here again and today we're going to be doing something a little different mainly because we're still all waiting for this freaking update to drop and it seems like it's going to be delayed for a while from what I hear. Some people are saying another week um, but we just don't know so while we're waiting for the update I'm going to be doing some other things still gonna be castle clash you're still gonna see castle clash gameplay but in this video i'm mainly going to be talking about wrestlemania which happened uh, i believe last sunday yeah last sunday and since this is pretty much a week later um i'm gonna talk about you know the match results and if you know if you haven't seen it and you plan to see it then you probably shouldn't continue because it's going to be filled with spoilers but I mean, if you if you really follow wrestling, you more than likely would have seen it by now. But just throwing that disclaimer out there: if you don't follow wrestling or anything like that, then you know still watch the gameplay because we are gonna be burning through stamina cards. Um, now, let me let me get right into this and start with this chest. Give me a crest, of course, of course I get gold. So, anyways. As far as the pre-show, I actually didn't even see the pre-show. I know that um, the big show won the, the Andre Memorial, which, I mean, I, I find that okay because it kind of pays homage to him as, as him being the giant that he that he is, really, because the big show is pretty much this generation's Andre. Um, so I thought that was cool. I was really expecting Damien to win, but, you know, you can't, everything can't be that predictable. So I thought that was cool. And the other match, I, I don't know. I didn't even see it. Uh, you know, I started watching like around 7 and it was over by then. So I don't know. Really didn't get to see that, which I guess it didn't turn out to be that important. Um, now, the first match um, was basically the the Intercontinental Championship where you saw Daniel Bryan win. Which I thought is good because um, it seems like the WWE is really, really pushing... The, the mid-card titles, you know, the, the mid-titles, the Intercontinental Championship and the U.S. title, they pretty much put them on top stars. And I think they're, what they're trying to do is build those titles up to mean something again. Because as, as it stands, unfortunately, they don't mean as much as they did before. Um, back when, you know, it was the, the Attitude Era, the Stone Colds, the Rocks, all of them were pretty much you know, running the show, and those titles actually really meant something back then, not anymore though, now it just seems like it's just a placeholder title, oh, oh, hey, hey, chill, chill, oh, okay, whoa, I was like, come on now, wait a minute, all right, um, but yeah, I, I actually did like Daniel Bryan winning it, because I feel like now they have different storylines and different opponents for Daniel Bryan, that can lead to a lot of good feuds, especially, I, I would definitely like that to go further with Dolph Ziggler. I think they would definitely put in good matches and nice matches to see overall. And the same with the, the US title with John Cena going over Rusev. I really did think that, um, that John Cena was definitely going to win. That was pretty predictable. Um, I just didn't see Rusev going over Cena at WrestleMania anyways. So the Intercontinental title and the U.S. Uh, title are pretty much on superstars now. And you know that those two don't win or don't lose out of nowhere. So they're, they're definitely hof they're hoping to take those titles, the prestige, and, and raise it to where it means something again. So who knows where they're going with that. But hopefully that's where they're trying to go, um, you know have more titles mean other things and actually be a shock when it changes hands so that's mainly my view on those two titles then you had the the randy orton and the seth rollins match which again i thought it was a very good match especially that rko to end it that's probably one of the best rkos i've seen literally out of nowhere <laughs> if you haven't seen it google it you know youtube it or something because 
he literally steps on his head and Randy Orton pushes him up and RKO's him. That that's literally the definition of out of nowhere. But at the same time, when I was watching, I was like, okay, this match was kind of early. Seth Rollins took the loss. And if you follow wrestling at all, you know that if a match is early and somebody takes the fall, especially a Money in the Bank winner, usually it gives you an indication that later on they're going to be part of the show, which we'll get to in a, in a bit. Uh, but, ooh, Minnow. Mm, are you the good Minnow, though? Wait a minute. Ooh, you are the good Minnow. Wait a minute. Pause the uh, WrestleMania talk. Wait, let's, let's get this bad boy out of here. All right. Uh, you see, I, I can never remember the freaking team that I always use. What am I missing? Vlad, I think. Uh, yeah, I think this is the team I use. Man, I usually have a team. I just don't ever remember. I don't run into this one that often. Well, let's see if it works. Pause the WrestleMania talk. Pause the WrestleMania talk. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Don't proc, don't proc. Okay, nice. We're going to open that here at the end. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to stay with this team because that was, that was pretty good. Um, but yeah, uh, the, the Triple H and the Sting match was actually, again, to me, it was a surprise. I was 100% expecting Sting to win. But Triple H actually got the victory, which I really, really did not see coming. And I also did not see the DX and the NWO getting involved in the match. Because, I mean, honestly, there was no indication beforehand. So it was kind of like out of nowhere, which it was it was a nice surprise. Um, but at the same time, while I was watching it, I'm like, damn, why couldn't this happen like 15 years ago, 10 years ago? You know, everybody just looked so old now. It was kind of weird. But at the same time, it was very nos nostalgic for me. Uh, but I, I, I kind of liked it. I, I did like the match considering what I was really expecting. It was decent all around. And then you had the, the AJ and Paige match versus the Bella Twins, our twins. Uh, I didn't really like that. I mean, I really wasn't expecting much. But at the same time, they didn't really impress me either. They didn't really do anything that I was just like, whoa. It really felt like that was the bathroom break. Honestly, I, it was it was a bathroom break. It was really the only match that I was just like, yeah, whatever. I mean, there's no title on the line. It was just two versus two because they had nothing else going on, I guess. So, uh, you know, it, it could have been better, but I guess it wasn't a horrible match, which I, I'll give them that. And then you had the whole um, Triple H and Stephanie segment where The Rock came out. And then uh, he invited uh, Ronda Rousey into the ring, which I thought was actually pretty brilliant because at this point, Ronda is blowing up. She's she's pretty much bro uh, blowing up. She's, she was popular before. I mean, she's still, what she was popular before any of this. But she, as of right now, she's getting to the point where she is being recognized everywhere, even by non-MMA followers everybody knows who Ronda is so for her to show up in Wrestlemania and actually have a segment and actually do really well I thought it was very well done I thought it was perfect timing and a way to kind of uh, you know get the crowd into it because if it was just somebody else just some random other person it wouldn't have worked as well it's just it's just how it is but because it was Ronda mm -hmm. and she's getting that popularity you know it's it works so i really did like that segment and i don't know maybe it can lead to something else later on down the line with the rock and triple h because it, it has been hinted before in a segment where triple h and the rock were talking about a wrestlemania match now i don't think an actual wrestlemania match would happen between them but i mean it's it's a nice teaser and something to think about um, and then, of course, the Undertaker and Bray Wyatt match. Um, it didn't really have the, the mystic feeling like before when Undertaker was defeated. But it's still Undertaker. Undertaker 
is WrestleMania. I mean, at this point until he retires, he's one of the main attractions. So he ha he definitely looked a lot better than last year. I definitely would, would give him that. He looked a hell of a lot better. He was a one year older, but physically he looked a lot better. So I I'll give him that. Um, I think though next year, if anything, he should probably have his last match as far as WrestleMania. Because um, I, I don't want to see him like a Ric Flair where he's, ref he's wrestling just and, and it's just way too old. I don't know. But at the same time, he's really only wrestling one match a year. So eh, I guess it's really going to be up to him. But hopefully, hopefully it doesn't end with him just wrestling as a 60-year-old, 70-year-old. But much respect to Undertaker, man. He definitely looked good. He got the clean win over Bray, but, I mean, nobody else was expecting anything different. Bray Wyatt right now is not over enough to go over Undertaker, of all people, in WrestleMania. So, um, and then the last match was that Seth Rollins, um, where he cashed in on Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns, which I thought it was, it was a good match where Brock Lesnar basically was destroying Roman at the beginning. And then at the end, they kind of made it seem like Roman was kind of mounting a comeback. Um, actually made Brock Lesnar bleed from the get-go. But I think that was just something that wasn't really intended. It just happened. But um, he, Brock Lesnar completely looked dominant. But at the same time, I honestly did feel like the cash-in was a little predictable. Just because you saw that both of them were just like totally tired and Seth Rollins like I mentioned earlier his match was way earlier in the day and I, I just saw it I just saw it coming I just didn't think that he would do it in the middle of the match I thought that maybe he would wait, uh, wait until it was over but no sure enough he came in right in the middle of it and cashed in and that was it which I thought it was a it was a fitting ending because at the same time, here's basically the problem. Roman Reigns is supposed to be the babyface, the good guy. But he's quickly, quickly becoming the John Cena of this generation. Where they're, they're trying to push him as the top guy and the main guy. But the crowd mainly just wants to boo him for whatever reason. So it's, it just seems like the crowd was booing him and cheering Brock Lesnar. So it seems like now WWE is trying to make Brock Lesnar as kind of like the the good guy or the the people that or the, the guy that the people want to cheer for. So I can see why they would want to uh, get Seth Rollins the title and now have Brock Lesnar go after him. So I mean those are the main things that I took away from WrestleMania. I actually really really liked uh, WrestleMania overall. The build up I felt wasn't really the best. But boy, did the matches deliver. They really, really did deliver. But yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video mm -hmm. if you're into wrestling. Um, if you're not into wrestling, hopefully you uh, liked all this uh, Lost Realm stuff until we get the update out. But yeah, guys, um, let me know what you think about WrestleMania, the matches, anything that you, um, or on any specific match. Let me know in the comment section. But there, thank you for watching, guys. And until later, bye. What is going on gamers? Avatrix here again and today we're going to be doing something a little different mainly because we're still all waiting for this freaking update to drop and it seems like it's going to be delayed for a while from what I hear. Some people are saying another week um, but we just don't know so while we're waiting for the update I'm going to be doing some other things still gonna be castle clash you're still gonna see castle clash gameplay but in this video i'm mainly going to be talking about wrestlemania which happened uh, i believe last sunday yeah last sunday and since this is pretty much a week later um i'm gonna talk about you know the match results 
And if you know if you haven't seen it and you plan to see it, then you probably shouldn't continue because it's going to be filled with spoilers. But I mean, if you if you really follow wrestling, you more than likely would have seen it by now. But just throwing that disclaimer out there. If you don't follow wrestling or anything like that, then you know still watch the gameplay because we are going to be burning through stamina cards. Um, now, let me let me get right into this and start with this chest. Give me a crest. Of course, of course I get gold. So, anyways, as far as the pre-show, I actually didn't even see the pre-show. I know that um, the big show won the the Andre Memorial, which I mean I, I find that okay because it kind of pays homage to him as as him being the giant that he that he is really because the big show is pretty much this generation's Andre. Um, so I thought that was cool. I was really expecting Damien to win, but you know you can't. Everything can't be that predictable. So I thought that was cool. And the other match, I, I don't know. I didn't even see it. Uh, you know, I started watching like around seven, and it was over by then. So I don't know. Really didn't get to see that, which I guess it didn't turn out to be that important. Um, now the first match um, was basically the the Intercontinental Championship where you saw Daniel Bryan win, which I thought is good because um, it seems like the WWE is really, really pushing the the mid-card titles, you know, the the mid-titles, the Intercontinental Championship and the US title. They pretty much put them on top stars. And I think what they're trying to do is build those titles up to mean something again, because as it stands, Unfortunately, they don't mean as much as they did before. Um, back when, you know, it was the, the Attitude Era, the Stone Colds, the Rocks, all of them were pretty much, you know, running the show. And those titles actually really meant something back then. Not anymore, though. Now it just seems like it's just a placeholder title. Oh, oh, hey, hey, chill, chill. Oh, okay. Whoa. I was like, come on now. Wait a minute. All right, um, but yeah, I I actually did like Daniel Bryan winning it because I feel like now they have different storylines and different opponents for Daniel Bryan that can lead to a lot of good feuds. Especially, I I would definitely like that to go further with Dolph Ziggler. I think they would definitely put in good matches and nice matches to see overall. And the same with the the U.S. title with John Cena going over Rusev. I really did think that um, that John Cena was definitely going to win. That was pretty predictable. Um, I just didn't see Rusev going over Cena at WrestleMania anyways. So the Intercontinental title and the U.S. Uh, title are pretty much on superstars now. And you know that those two don't win or don't lose out of nowhere. So they're, they're definitely hof- they're hoping... To take those titles, the prestige, and, and raise it to where it means something again. So who knows where they're going with that. But hopefully that's where they're trying to go. Um, you know, have more titles mean other things. And actually be a shock when it changes hands. So that's mainly my view on those two titles. Then you had the, the Randy Orton and the Seth Rollins match. Which, again, I thought it was a very good match. Especially... That RKO to end it, that's probably one of the best RKOs I've seen. Literally out of nowhere. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, Google it, you know, YouTube it or something. Because he literally steps on his head and Randy Orton pushes him up and RKOs him. That That's literally the definition of out of nowhere. But at the same time, when I was watching, I was like, okay, this match was kind of early. Seth Rollins took the loss. And if you follow wrestling at all, you know that if a match is early and somebody takes the fall, especially a Money in the Bank winner, usually it gives you an indication that later on they're going to be part of the show, which we'll get to in a, in a bit. Uh, but, ooh, Minnow. Mm, are you the good Minnow, though? Wait a minute. Ooh, you are the good Minnow. Wait a minute. Pause the uh, WrestleMania talk. Wait, let's... Let's get this bad boy out of here. All right. Uh, you see, I, I can never remember the freaking team that I always use. What am I missing? Vlad, I think. 